Yo, what's up, guys? This is Don Dum Bison House on YouTube. I'm your host, Andrew. Today, we're reviewing World Night H8 from Hasbro. Let's look at the detail and the breakdown of the Beyblade. Here's the chart. It has very great stamina, but um, just one in burst, I guess, is the ability to burst out of Beyblade since it's a stamina bay and a defense bay. Let's open it. Brief introduction of the bay is that it's a Beyblade owned by Kid Lopez. He's a friend of the Ford. Um, he appears in the anime again in the Quad Strike. This is the launcher. It's unexpectedly good. Here is a useless menu. But I would still recommend you to look at it so you know how to change the mode from core mode to apex mode. Let's look at the Beyblade itself. The blade is world, two ring. Here is a quick look of the teeth mark. This is tapered Q from Hasbro, jaggy Q and bounce, but it has no bouncing features like the BU one. Let's put it together. A bit wiggly. This Beyblade has a lot of roundness, so I guess it's very good in defense. And since I have a DB or a BU version of the Wind Knight, let's compare it. Size-wise, they look so much different. The BU one is way bigger. And the BU one also a moon disc and a bounce. And the real bounce actually have like bouncing features. I guess it will take down some force when you release the bay and when you look at the core it also has like a spring features that you can tilt sideways and for the wind you can actually change mode from upper force mode to down force mode personally i only use one mode but takara told me definitely put more creativity and effort to create this bay moon disc is also one of my favorite discs to use because it's so round it's heavy and also it has a bu lock on the metal and this is the teal feature that i'm talking about let's do our first launch on the world and see how long it lasts it starts off by serving around and it went to the middle of the stadium it lasts about one minute and 45 seconds which is very decent for a stamina bay. Let's battle against Wind Knight. So people would be saying like, hey, Hasbro will definitely lose in this round because it's battling against a DB or BU bay by Takara Tommy, which is way heavier and has more gimmick. But that's how it turns out. The Hasbro bay actually win. I guess it's all about the performance tips Bounce tip is actually performing so well in the Hasbro Bay, so it's actually pretty amazing and unexpected to see. Let's battle against Valio. This is kind of anime accurate to the actually battle. And in the anime, World Knight actually wins. So let's see if we can recreate the uh, anime scene. And of course we do. Let's do one more battle against the Cyclone Valio. I don't have a Ragnarok, so let's try with Valio. This is also anime accurate. There's a battle between the World Knight, Ragnarok, and the Pandora. But I don't have a Pandora, so let's stick with this and see if the World Knight can actually outspin Ragnarok, but no, haha. <laughs> and overall, I would say this is actually a very outstanding Beyblade from Hasbro. I really like the roundness of the Beyblade, although it's not size accurate, although it's not size accurate to the DB Bay. Last but not least, a comment from about self 300 saying that, oh, let's do a Takara Tommy combo with a 9 armor and over this and a bearing drift which we have all these stuff so let's try it out this is a pretty good idea and i actually know that a lot of competitive players use this combo 
with the Wind Knight. But hey! Just kidding, let's try another round. Longinus will be a good opponent for the match because his like left spin and also is a very good attack play. And let's test out if it can stand the attack from the Longinus. And I wouldn't doubt that it won't because it's definitely a champion combo. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Beyblade content.